Welcome back, guys. It's me, Billy Mac. Well, that's not how I do it. Hey, guys, it's me, Billy Mac, and welcome to my garage. So on today's video, what we're going to do is we're gonna throw the heads back on the motor. And uh, unfortunately, I am missing one head bolt. So I guess I have to pick that up, but we'll put everything else on uh, until that head bolt comes in. We'll torque them down and get them all set up. So like always, we are going to clean everything up. There you go, the inside head bolts. Four, six, eight, nine. Ah, the other one's here somewhere. We will find it, I hope. Or I'll have to wait till one comes in. Let's get cleaning up the rest. There we go, 20 used head bolts. And that's what we're gonna go with again. Since it's the last time I'll be able to clean before we set these heads up, now's a good time to clean her up some. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a light scuff with a very light grit gray scotch bright uh, pad. You know, I'm not pushing very hard, just doing a light little cleaning. Uh, so the head gasket is something they can stick to. Again, another light cleaning of any dust that you kicked up. Make sure to get inside the lifter trays, in around the pistons, make sure that there is nothing contaminating the surface. Now that the surface is cleaned, we're going to throw a little bit of oil because we don't know when we're gonna start this thing up. A little bit of oil in the cylinder walls. Not lots at all, just a tiny bit. So here's the head gasket. Pretty self-explanatory. Front, this is the one that came in the Felpro kit. So it just goes over the dowels like so. And that's it, easy. Peasy, lemon, squeezy, as they say. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is throw on the heads, but we're gonna clean those up a little bit first. So the head is fairly clean already, but we're just gonna give it a quick wipe down, wipe down on the inside and make sure the bottom is scuffed up enough to fit on to the head gasket with a good, nice mechanical grip. So again, nice little scuff. Do not apply any pressure. Let the sandpaper do its job. These are already milled, so nothing fancy needs to be done right now. Very, 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 very delicate. <laughs> Wiped out. Last thing, in the combustion chambers here, their edges are fairly sharp. Um, I watched a video from KSR, Kevin out in Florida, and he had said that that could create hot spots. So all I'm doing is kind of just taking down the lip a little bit with a regular flathead screwdriver. Nothing crazy. And there you have it. The head is cleaned, ready to go sit on the motor. Bring it over. Head number one. Just gonna throw a couple of these in. I doubt it's gonna fall off. Anyhow, better safe than sorry. Let's go get the number two head ready.
Beautiful. Now we're gonna throw in the bolts. Tossed in anyway. We're not really gonna tie, tighten them down yet. So now it's time to torque them down. Because they're used bolts, we're not gonna use the, the uh, angle. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to torque them down to 15 pounds feet. Then we're going to torque them down to 40 pounds feet. And then we're gonna torque them down to 60 pounds feet. And the pattern goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's get started on that. 15 pounds feet first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna go do the other side. So now we're just gonna move it up to 40 pounds feet. Do it again. Okay, so I had said 60 pounds feet, I think, before. But now we're going up to 65. 65. Okay, so these are the inside bolts. We're reusing these again. We're gonna add a little bit of the blue thread lock. So this is the medium. Nothing too crazy, it's not gonna seal them in place forever. Just a little bit. Can you see? A little bit, like so. Beautiful. Now, make sure we lock that in good and tight. Keep it in a warm spot. So these ones here, on the back side of the heads. So, I'm gonna throw these in, you can watch. So now we're gonna torque these down with our 10 mil. And these go middle, actually, let's come over and see. They'll go 11, 12, or this way. So we'll go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20 pounds feet of torque. So the heads are torqued on, minus that one bolt that we're missing. Thought I could find it, I can't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover everything up while I go away. Uh, I got some driving to do, and uh, when we get back, hopefully some things that we're missing will be in stock and we can get going on finishing the motor. But for right now, that's it, that's all. I'm Billy Mack, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Welcome to my garage.